Hi, I'm John Wasserman, pastor of Airport Christian Fellowship near Oar Tambo Airport here in uh, Kempton Park, South Africa. And, and we've been uh, doing this series on the kingdom of God, or otherwise known as the kingdom of heaven. And I love it because once I started to understand the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, and uh, you know, I'm part of it when I gave my life to Jesus, but I'm not standing around helplessly, hopelessly awaiting for an antichrist or the devil to take over. That's not what we're here to do. So we're not holding the fort and waving a flag and waiting for Jesus to rescue us and take us to some place in heaven. No, no. He's given us the message of the kingdom to preach. And so, so if you want to know what I am, I'm a kingdom preacher. And that's what this particular message is all about. So it's about our authority as a kingdom preachers, kingdom people, and you yourself are in the kingdom, so you have a message from God. But because of the preaching of preachers for decades, we've been so preconditioned and programmed into disqualification that, you know, we're not good enough. How can I preach? How can I be used of God? How can I heal the sick? You know, who am I and what can I do? And, uh, you know, the pastor, he's the pro. You know, we pay him and he must preach. No, that's not, that's not God's plan at all. And so the, the, the thing that we do our whole Christian lives, there's two things that every Christian wants, and they seek it from, from the time they get born again, but by the, by the preaching of the preachers, they feel like they can never attain it. Number one, they all want to be holy. But you're told you're never holy, you're never good enough, and you just can't do it, and you'll never make it, and, and you'll probably never ever get to heaven when you die. And so our whole lives are spent in this disqualification. The second thing is everybody's fasting and praying to be anointed. Well, the good news for you is that the kingdom of God is something that is given. It says, unto us a child, Isaiah 9 verse 6, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Do you know that sonship is given to you? you it's something that when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, he makes you his son, he makes you his child. And uh, Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 or 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21, he made him who knew no sin to become sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. So you can stop seeking to become righteous and just realize that that righteousness was given to you as a gift. That's Galatians chapter 3. The second thing is that because you're righteous, he can give you his spirit. So you are anointed, which means you can preach the message of the kingdom. So Jesus looks at his disciples in the gospel of Luke and uh, they were all disqualifying themselves. And he said, it's been the Father's good pleasure to confer on you or to give you the kingdom. Man, that's grace. If you can realize that he accepts you, that he washes you free of all unrighteousness and, and uh, cleanses you of all sin, uh, when you accept him as Lord and Savior and believe what he did on the cross, simple as that, and when you receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit, you are empowered to preach the gospel. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is something given. You've got to watch this. Kingdom preachers, bless you. Thank you for watching this video and I don't want you to miss anything. So please like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and SoundCloud, connect with us on LinkedIn and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you on the next clip.